three, two, one, mark. Hey buddy, I hope the sound isn't crazy. Three, two, one, mark. Hey, buddy. It's about quarter of four in the morning. Wait, 445 in the morning. Got my breath fill. And we are sitting here watching the spud count. All you couch potatoes on the big comfy couch. We're watching the live count for it to switch to 10k. It's kind of exciting. And you know, I wouldn't be doing this sitting here recording, looking like all this, if this count hadn't moved in like an hour. Because I really just like opened my laptop, set up my phone, and I'm like, here we go. Here we go. 40 minutes later, I'm like, here we go. I'm like, ah. So I set this up. I thought, you know what? We'll do it together. We'll do it together on the couch, not awkward. And I figured if anything, because I couldn't sleep, I was so excited. It's just a cool goal, you know? It's a cool, it's a cool representation of the impact that I think we're having. And I say we. Clarification needed. Yeah, I'm the one that you're looking at every day. But behind the scenes, like I don't have a team of 40 people around me. I have Lulu. I have Julie. I have Cat. I have another moderator helping Lulu that I haven't met yet. Mariana, no. Angel, no. I'm going to learn you. Hopefully you'll be easier than the boys. I've got Natalie. I got Sierra. I got Gwen. I got Purple. The list goes on. But these people are like guiding me through. You know, now Lulu, Julie, and Kat, and... I think it's Mariana, Mariana Angel, or something like that. Those are the Discord mods. Those are the ones responsible for keeping Discord in the state that it's in. So you can thank them. Um, Gwen and like Purple. Well, Gwen is mostly my my navigator, right? She will tell me if I was if I say like. Hey, I want to watch this. She'll be like, no, not yet. Or she'll be like, yeah, okay. And she kind of guides me. And I tell her to do that, you know. Because um, there's so much I just don't know. So she's been a great guy. So thank you, Gwen. Um, purple is just my little navi. Fairy flying around. Kind of telling me to shut up. Or <laughs> just... Getting me excited. She's she's great. Um, Natalie is helping with some behind the scenes stuff, which I won't discuss just yet. Sierra built a couple logos for us. Amjad built the infamous couch logo that you see at the beginning of every every episode. But those are all volunteers from the actual couch crew. People that have volunteered their time. And there's more, you know. Um, Gigi helped with legal stuff. We had, uh, man, there's so, I mean, there's so many. There's so many people that have kind of come out and been like, what we're doing is important. 
I would like to help. And literally donated their time, donated their resources, their skills, their talents. I think that is a great testament to what Army is. So I figured if anything, let's share this moment. There's going to be 10,000 of us sitting here doing what we're doing. And so when I say we, I'm not talking about me and like the behind the scenes crew, which I think it was Jersey or maybe it was Penelope. I think it was Penelope. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, one of you said, called them the shadows. And I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Because it's very World of Warcraft. It's very fantasy realm, RPG, role-playing game, vernacular. The shadows. But it, I also it, I also was like, shadows, like they're in Ross's shadow? I don't know, like that. But shadow sounds pretty badass. Maybe we'll do like, shadow ninja dragons. Hmm. That's very RPG. So when I say we, God, how long to get to this point? I'm talking about all of us. All of you that sit and watch and are happy, Couch Crew. Those of you that share things on Twitter or retweet or TikTok or whatever, like that's helping, that's supporting. You know, the, the, the patrons that... I mean, for a dollar a month, they're just saying, I like what you're doing. Here you go. And it's things like that that help me to get the subtitles going. Um, because, like, well, I think one of you said, wow, it sounds like you have a lot of people helping with subtitles. I don't. It's all uh, a system-based process. But it costs money. And I have to go through and choose each language and then translate... Um, that one video into all those language and then I have to translate all of those titles and descriptions into each language um, so that as many people can enjoy it as possible and then we wait until the video is done uploading and processing it finds the English translation and then I can then duplicate it and go through the list so that is just very time-consuming but again it does cost money so the patrons that are donating thank you very much um, all of you. And I can't stress enough. I know I keep saying this, but like some of you message me privately and you say like, thank you. I love the channel. I love what you're doing. I'm so happy on the couch. That's what I need. That's what makes my heart want to explode. And then they'll apologize that they can't send me something. Don't send me nothing. Just be here and be happy. Be with the family. If you can't tell by now, this is one of my famous rambles, which apparently last night I was, what is that? Yeah, it's just some plastic in your breakfast, no big deal. Blah. See, Ross, cut that out. Nobody needs to see that. Well, they're gonna. I don't really eat jello for breakfast every day. I just want to be transparent about that. But it is good. See, 10 minutes, it's been sitting here, nothing moving. I'm okay with it. I just, I want it to happen so I can do other stuff. So I can like react to videos or whatever. A couple of you sent me messages yesterday that, and I mean like private messages, and you kind of gave me your story. It really hit me. I came home, I told Annie, because I'm not going to say that, you know, a lot of you are concerned with my self-care, and I'm extremely grateful for that. You're concerned about me and Annie's relationship, and I joke about stuff. But the truth is, um, Annie and I could not have a stronger relationship. That is absolutely the case. We're closing in on 20 years this year, I think, in July. Was it nine? Maybe it's 19. Either way, like we've been together for 20 years. I think married for 19, because I knew right away. I'll tell you that story in one of my upcoming things. Um, 
but we could not have a stronger relationship. So there, you know, we've survived deployments and long-term relationships. We've survived her PhD program. So she is basically going through grad school for six years. She had to finish up her undergrad for a couple years, whatever it was. But it was like eight years, six or eight years that she was doing school stuff. So she lived, you know, in another city during the week and then came home on the weekends. And, and I would go to work like, it was tough. And stuff like that really stresses a relationship. But we got through it. So we're going to be fine. Don't worry about us. I mean, I appreciate that you do. It's extremely sweet. It's very army. But, but we're going to be okay. But she did express some concern, you know, at, at some points of this last month or two. Actually, I think it's been a month. About this last month that I've been doing this, she's expressed concern like, hey, I don't feel like this pace you're doing is sustainable. I'm like, I know. It just went down. I just lost a subscriber. Now we got to get two. This might be a long video. But that's okay. We're just hanging out. Um, ADHD, just wow, it's unbelievable. What was I saying? The number just threw a wrench in my face. I got to wonder too. You know, something like that, like, I know people unsubscribe, but I always wonder why, you know? I mean, it's not like I fell off the face of the earth, for one, and I just stopped making content. They're like, oh, well, he hasn't put anything out in a day. He must be done, and they unsubscribe. I don't know. Or did I say something in a video where they were like, oh, my goodness, no, unsubscribe. I always wonder. But you know, that's the human in me. That's like, why don't they like me? Can anybody relate? Can they get it? Amen. What are you eating right now? If it's pizza, you got my P.O. box. Pizza is one of those things for me that, I wonder if I should do this live. Should I do this live? Hmm, that might be a bad idea. I'm gonna check the Discord. This would be so meta if I just went from this video into live. Yeah. I'm going to check the Discord. See how many active people we got. What? I just did that. There we go. Let's see what's going on in the Discord. All right, so we have online currently so hard to keep up with so much going on okay it actually looks like things slowed down a little bit can I get some signal here. What's going on? Uh oh, because I oh wait, that 
is me. Okay. We got 76 people online. Where is some where am I? Oh, see, time to wake up. love that you guys are using the mental health bench. That was a Lulu idea. Pretty much everything in here was a Lulu idea that I'm aware of. I don't know about. I know there's stuff coming too, so. Um, for Julie and Cat Rain and who is the other one? I gotta figure this out. It's gonna drive me crazy. We got Purdy. Purdy, I forgot about Purdy. Purdy was so sweet when I mentioned Discord the first time and said, hey, we're working on it behind the scenes. We're going to make sure everybody's set up and ready to go. Purdy just said, hey, you know what? I set up a practice one so people want to like come in and practice and learn how to use it. We'll be there. That was awesome. That was so awesome. And nobody asked her to do that. She just did it. That's Army. That's Couch Crew. Okay, who is the other one? Okay, Marina Ariel. That is the other one, Marina Ariel. Who has a picture <clears throat> of the Empress. Have you ever seen Never Ending Story? Movie that traumatized a generation. If you know what I'm talking about, moment of silence. That's as long as you're getting. But the Empress, man. Anyway, so. Okay, we got one more. I'm going to completely miss it too when it turns. We have. 75 people online. I don't think anybody is actually chatting right now looks like about a half an hour ago pi was the last one to say something come on yeah so i shouldn't go live right now it might be like me and one of the person be like a skype call i'll be like hey everybody and they're like Hey man, what's up? Did you already eat your jello? And I'm like, yeah. Do you want some? I know in YouTube terms, 9,999 is very tiny. But it, if you think about it, can you imagine if we actually had a couch built? I feel like there's a Netflix show birthing right now. If we had a couch built that held 10,000 people, that would be pretty wild. Imagine the size of that thing, right? Think about a perspective of actual human terms, not YouTube terms. 10,000 people is a lot of people. And I honestly don't know how long this is going to take. And I want you guys to be here for it. And maybe I'll cut some of it out. I probably won't because that's a lot of work and I don't want to do it. Again, just more time for you to hang out with Roscoe. And more time for me to hang out with you. Because the longer we hang out, the more comments you got. <gasps> it just happened. 10,000 spuds on the couch. We did it. We did it. And we did it together. Isn't that amazing? What we just did in a month. Well, we did. it was kind of two months because 
Beat Saber started on December 21st. And then the, the reactions started on January 16th. It is now January 16th and we hit 10,000 people. What? This is nuts. This is nuts. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Can I choose? Okay, custom. I want to go from, that's January 16th. That was my first one. Where was I? Oh, I just got another one. Okay, so we were at, okay, so on January 16th, we had just hit 1,114. And I think the cause of that was, I put out the video that said, how do I BTS? And the hurricane began. People saying like, oh, well, here's what you got to do. Oh, man, that question I now know was probably the most crazy way I could have asked that question. But I guess it worked out in the end. That was January 16th. The reaction started I had just over 1,000. And some of you were here from the first BTS one. Not even BTS, but Beat Saber, which I think was The Greatest Showman. Boy, did I have some sass and pizzazz in that one. Oh, I do miss Beat Saber. I've been doing this stuff a lot, like every day, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I, there's not really much time to do Beat Saber, which means I'm not working out as much as I would like to be, as much as I need to be. I'm eating jello for breakfast, crying out loud. It's so crazy to think how far this has come. Man, so I just, my whole brain just went whoop right back to this thought that I was talking about like 11 minutes ago. Annie showed some concern about, I don't think what you're doing is sustainable. You got to take care of yourself. Take it easy. It's a marathon, not a sprint. She's saying the same things you guys are saying. So it's all meant to be. And I say, I know. I got it. But it's not just me watching videos. You got to understand that. You got to see what's happening with the crew. So I read her a couple comments, which I'm not going to read. They're very personal. I read her a couple or messages. I read her a couple messages. She cried. And she cried because she, like me, her heart is full. She sees the good that's happening here. And it's so wild to think, well, this all started from a video game, which then turned into you guys saying, hey, check these guys out on video and record it while you're at it. And I obliged. And within a month, we built this thing together, it was like, now there's a place for everybody. That's so crazy. So all that to say, she doesn't really tell me now, hey, take it easy. Maybe don't do a video today. She still wants me to take care of myself, but she also knows that I'm, when I get into this go mode, I'm a machine. And then she knows that I have a purpose, like she sees how important this is to a lot of people. Um, she understands. So she is, she's with us. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really good things happening. So many of you, I wish I could just give a giant hug to, and maybe someday I will. Stranger things have happened. I played World of Warcraft for 16 years, 15 years. I met people that I, I played with online. You know, somebody you play with for a year or two or whatever, and then you meet them in person. <sighs> Pretty crazy. Yeah, when Annie was... Annie was crying... 
about these messages that I was reading her. And the, the people were talking uh, some about their personal story, but also about how, you know, the channel has brought them so much comfort and warmth and kind of escapism like we talk about. And she just felt kind of overwhelmed by that. And I said, see, this is why I become a machine. It's not about putting videos online. I mean, I, you know, I love what I'm doing, but to do that and then put it out there and then it becomes this thing for somebody else that allows them, and I'm not even exaggerating this term, to reduce their suffering, to make their day a little better, to help them get away from X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. I said, this is why I do it. This is why I don't sleep. This is why I stay up late. Um, I get up early or I'm working on my work break on this stuff. I am happy to do it. And I know a lot of you are worried about me burning out. I get it. You're worried about me burning out because you don't want this to go away. I get it. I don't want this to go away either. And I, I fully know that I, it's not all or nothing. It's if I get to the point where this is getting crazy, I'll slow down a little bit. I'll, that's okay. But we in this for the long haul. I guess there's really no reason for me to continue this. It's we just broke ten thousand. We did it. Awesome. Thank you to everybody. I'm gonna jump in the Discord pretty soon. I'll say hi to everybody. And the hurricane of text, the wall of text will happen. All right, love, love, love. I'm going to kill this. Take care of each other. Look out for each other. I'm Roscoe. I messed up the order. But it doesn't matter because we're family.